Our next story is about a young couple who are experiencing all the excitement of bringing home their first beautiful baby girl, when only a few weeks later their lives were turned upside down when she became very ill. This is the story of little Lucy. I was over the moon when we found out we were having a little girl. We just had a miscarriage a few months earlier and yeah, it was um, happy tears, yeah. Lucy had cried in the past and you know she got over it but this was it was a different sort of cry it was it really it hurt to hear it and so I said to Will I was like we're going to the hospital something's not right like I it probably was mother's instinct but I I just said we need to take her in One of the doctors told us that she was in heart failure and her heart was failing and they don't know why but um, they're doing the best that they can. In the coming days I was at that point where I thought she definitely put up a, a really good fight and she was struggling quite a lot so I, I, I guess I kind of said goodbye to her every time I went in and saw her. How could you have someone in your life for three weeks and then be faced with her being taken away. A Berlin Heart is a type of ventricular assist device or more commonly known as a VAD. It's an artificial heart pump that we implant when a child's heart's not going to be life sustaining. So we implant the VAD to help keep the child alive until either their own heart recovers or they have it as a bridge to transplant. Being on a VAD's not without its complications and parents are terrified that their child will develop a complication and then that may impact on them actually moving on to transplant. So it's, it's a very challenging time for the parents when they're living here on the ward. There's a ward full of babies and kids waiting for a transplant. Before this, I never even considered that kids would need a transplant. I don't know if it's because you don't want to think of kids needing transplants to save their life, but we've met so many families, be it livers, kidneys, hearts, that they need these to, to give them a second go at life and to think that this beautiful gift, this amazing gift that someone has given in their darkest of days has saved another, another, another baby's life. It's so special. Very special indeed. Lucy is now three years old and is doing really well. She has cardiology appointments every six to eight weeks in Adelaide and returns to the RCH every six months. And I have it on good authority. Lucy loves being outside, Mitch, drawing and craft, singing and dancing and visiting her grandparents' farm.